students at EJD Middle School enjoy bringing in apples for their teachers. Each teacher receives a different amount of apples each day. How can we use pictures to find the mean amount of apples that a teacher received on a given day? In this lesson, you will learn how to find the mean by equally distributing picture objects and using a standard algorithm. Let's review what types of questions are considered to be statistical questions. Remember, when receiving answers to statistical questions, you can expect to receive a variety of answers. When these answers are numerical, they are considered data. Look at the first question. What was the temperature yesterday? If we look at the answer, 75 degrees, you will see that the question is answered with only one number. It does not involve any variation in answers. This is not a statistical question. The next question asks how many pets the students in math group have. You can see that there's a variety of answers. This is a statistical question. The last question asks for the average temperature in Syracuse last week. At first, this may seem like a question that only involves one number. The answer is 79. However, because it takes seven numbers to make up a weekly average, we do see a variation in answers. So this is a statistical question. The mean is often confused with the median. They are both measures of center and both start with the letter M. The median is the middle number when the numbers are in order. Let's take a look at the number line. As you can see, the number that is directly in the middle is the number 13. So the median or middle number is 13. In this chart, we're going to show how many apples each of the five teachers received. Now let's take this data and let's show it in picture form. We can see Mr. Smith has two apples, Mrs. Smart has three, Mrs. Adams received four apples, Mr. Johnson received six, and Miss Miller received five. The next thing we need to do is combine all of the apples into one large pile. So we're going to take all five teachers' apples and put them inside the circle. In other words, we're going to combine all of the data. Now we need to find the sum of all the apples. Remember, the sum is the answer when you add. We can find the sum by simply counting the apples below, or we could use the array to multiply the apples. Notice how we have four apples going across and five apples going down. Four times five equals 20, so the sum is 20 apples. Now let's take the 20 apples and begin distributing them so that each person has the same amount. Imagine you are dealing a deck of cards to a group of friends. Let's say you have five friends. We want each person to get exactly the same amount. As you can see, the mean is found by leveling out or making each set of data equal. There are no apples left over and each person has the same amount. Each person has four apples, so therefore the mean of the data is four. Let's think about the steps we took to solve the problem. First, we added all of the data together. Then we divided all of the apples into five equal groups. So we took our sum of 20 and divided by five to arrive at the quotient of four, which is the mean amount of apples that each teacher received. We did not have any apples left over, so our remainder is zero and each teacher received a mean of four apples. In this lesson, you have learned how to find the mean by equally distributing picture objects and using a standard algorithm.